GA4 is now the law of the land if you're going to use a free Google Analytics tool. Universal Analytics has been retired, now we have to use GA4. Now I have a love-hate relationship with GA4 because there's a lot of things that my clients have been using in Universal Analytics for a decade now that we're not able to replicate just yet. But I have been finding some things over the course of the last few months that help us get close to what we used to have in UA. And one of those things that I want to talk about today is setting up custom events to track conversions based on a page URL in GA4. One of the most common setups for conversion tracking for most of my clients, and probably for you, is that when somebody completes a conversion action, we send them to a thank you page. It's a very simple process. It's also pretty easy to track. Now, for whatever reason, all of the other platforms seem to have this a lot easier. For LinkedIn, if I come down to create a new conversion goal, I can just match, based on a URL, what page I want to fire a conversion goal for. So in here, I can easily adjust this to say contains and then put in some form of thank you, whatever naming convention you use. And now anytime somebody lands on the thank you page on my site that has the insight tag, it'll count as a conversion. Facebook's is also very similar. All you have to do is create the rule and you can do that based on the URL, what it contains, and you can add in your thank you language. Now for whatever reason, Google has decided to make this far more complicated than any of the other platforms. Here's the setup option for a new conversion action in Google Ads. And throughout this whole thing, you'll see there's no option for setting up any sort of page naming convention, like the thank you page, that we could use to delineate somebody who visits one page versus another in the platform. What actually happens is when you go to the next step, it provides you a new Google Ads tag that you need to add to the website, and you need to adjust what pages that tag is added to to track a conversion. And even though you can use some types of manager, like Google Tag Manager, for example, something like this, I personally think that is still a pretty complex way to create conversion actions for most people. It seems like it would be a lot easier for you to be able to put one code on a site and then adjust conversion tracking based on URL parameters. Now, the way that you would approximate the page URL conversion action in Google Tag Manager is to create a trigger and this account has a ton of them in here, and I'm gonna try and keep this as anonymous as I can. So I'm gonna to go to a trigger that we're already using. And here you can see that we've created a trigger for a page view, and then we use the parameter page URL and used all of the different naming conventions that we needed to for all of the different thank you pages on the website. So this is probably the way that most of you are setting up your conversion actions in GA4. And since all conversion actions in GA4 are now based on events, what we had to do for this account was create a new tag for the GA4 event and use this trigger as the action. So let me show you what that looks like. So here we have the GA4 event as the tag. We're using the base configuration. We named this event form demo request rollup. And for the trigger, we're using the demo submission trigger. So since this is published on all pages of the site, when we go into Google Analytics, we now see the form demo request rollup in the events report for this account. Since this is a conversion action, we then would need to set up this event as a conversion. So to do that, we would need to go into the gear section over here for admin, navigate to events, and then I've highlighted the form demo request rollup and we would need to turn this as a conversion action. You can see that it is because this is toggled on and that's how it's set up as a conversion action. Now, that's obviously a lot of steps. You had to set up a new trigger and new tag in Google Tag Manager, let it fire, and then turn it as a conversion in your GA4 property. But the topic of this video is not the annoying way to set up these conversions, it's the slightly easier way to set up these conversions. So to set up a page view or URL based conversion action in GA4, we need to be in this event section. So we're already in the right spot. I'm gonna scroll all the way up to the top and we're going to create a new event. As you can tell, we have a lot of events already created in this account, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna create a new one really quick. So we're gonna go to create and here's where we have our event builder. So the first thing we wanna do is give it an event name. For this account, we're trying to track demo requests. So I went ahead and just added demo ty as the event name. And then down below is where we get to start utilizing all of the different pieces to have that URL filter. So the first thing you'll notice, parameter, event name. If I highlight over all this and delete it, you then get to have all of the different parameters that fire on the website as it stands today. So there's lots about items, language, method, price, 
all that sort of thing. But for this specific event that we're trying to set up based on URL parameters, we want to start off with event name. We're going to leave the operator as equals, even though there's lots of different controls you can have here. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then we're going to set up the value as page view. In GA4, by default, every profile will have a page view event set up every time somebody views a page of your website. So by setting this as the first matching condition, you're effectively saying somebody has to view a page on my site to be considered for this event to fire. Seems pretty simple, right? This should literally count everybody because everybody gets a page view. So this is where we start by basically creating a list of everybody on the site, and then we get to start adding in conditions. You'll remember the big list that was in there before of all the different parameters, but I want a specific one because I'm trying to do this based on URL, and that's going to be page location. I just typed in page location. You could do page title if all of your thank you pages include thank you in it or something along those lines. But for now, I'm just going to use location. I'm going to change the operator to contains, and you can either use contains just as it is or contains with ignoring the title case. And I'm actually going to do that because some of the pages I think have capital letters in them and I don't want them to. And now is where we get to effectively copy the URL parameters that we want. So all of the different thank you pages that I want to track for this demo conversion action contain the word demo. But then as another condition, so I'm going to add page location again, they also contain ty. This should feel a lot more familiar for any of you who've been building all of your conversion actions on URL strings. We're effectively saying anybody who views a page on the website and that page includes demo and includes ty because this event has to match all of the following conditions. So all three of these have to be true for this demo ty custom event to fire. And that's it. All you need to do is set that up, hit create, you can see in my list that demo ty is set up here. And I'm going to close out of this. And once we've let the website run for a couple of hours, we've been able to track a few of these demo requests. You'll see this demo ty action in the events report. And then to turn it as a conversion, all you need to do is toggle this on. And now this is set up as a conversion, easily tracked. And it's firing off of your custom event based on the different URLs that you're using, tracking only through your GA4 profile. Now, really quick, I want to talk about some of the parameters and limitations for these. So let's hop into a Google Help article real quick. And the first thing is around why you might create custom events. And here we have the last two bullets, I think, are the important ones. You can create a new event based on an existing event and then trigger it for specific conditions. Or you can effectively do what I just did and narrow the scope of an existing event and then mark it as a conversion. So remember I said anybody who views a page, that is going to be the event that's already there. But I narrowed it so it's only based on the demo thank you pages. And then I set that event as a conversion. So that's exactly how you would do it. Down here you can see that you can create up to 50 events based on existing events. And it does take a little bit of time for it to go in effect. So just make sure that you wait for those different events to fire before you go back and check. They will not be there automatically. Now the only drawback for these URL based goals in GA4 is that they're only really applicable to the GA4 profile and your Google Ads profile if you import them into your Google Ads account. Now if you're interested in learning how to do that, you can check out the top of the screen right now. So if you're only advertising on Google Ads and you don't care about any other platforms, this is probably the right way for you to go. But if you're also advertising across lots of different accounts, it might make sense for you to set up some of the events in Google Tag Manager so you can use the same trigger for all of the different platforms that you have available. But again, with platforms like LinkedIn and Facebook making it easy to set up URL goals directly in the platform, that also might just be an additional step that complicates things to use Google Tag Manager instead. But the good news is there's no right or wrong way. And now we have one additional way to track URL based goals in GA4 that, at least for me, I wasn't aware of before. Despite GA4 being out for a couple of years now, and we're just recently past the transition away from UA into GA4, I feel like this is still a really big learning curve for most people, myself included. So in the coming weeks and months, hopefully we'll have additional videos like this that'll walk you through some of the quick wins that we're finding for our accounts and help you take better advantage of GA4. If you have any questions about setting up custom events for your conversion tracking in GA4 or anything else about conversion tracking in general, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.